your host, Jeff Sutton. What's going on? I'm Jeff, and welcome to Brain Surge. This is the only show where all you need is a great memory and super concentration skills. It's going to be a good one today, and I'll tell you why. Because we got some really good brainiacs. Let's meet them. Wade wants to be an inventor. How about inventing a car that runs on slime? Jacqueline's nickname is Klutz because she's always tripping and crashing into walls. Boo is a state champion gymnast. Very nice. Susie can make a really funny monkey face. Jordan used to collect toenails, and I have no idea why anyone would do that. And Lily has been swimming since she was two. I wonder if she's tired yet. Guess what? One of you guys is going home with a title of champion by your name, plus a chance to play at thousands of dollars in prizes and get covered in slime from head to toe. You guys are going to be competing in three intense levels of brain games. In this first level, I'm going to show you a bunch of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. Use the special game pod you have in front of you to lock in your answers and earn points for correct answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points, I'm going to move you on to level two. However, the other two, there is only one way out of here, and that is down the brain drain. I am ready. I'm going to go head over to the brain center so we can get started. Let's go. Level one. You should never mess with a guy that's got a giant head. Sorry, guys. I'm calm now. Let's kick it off with a 10-point puzzle. Remember, pay close attention to these instructions. Boy, do I love to dance, and I'm about to get my dance on. Pay close attention to the moves I do. I call this one move number one. I like to follow it up, of course, with move number two. Quickly busting out move number three. Look out! Here's move number four. Which of these moves did I not do earlier? Hey, uh, Lily, you got a school dance coming up anytime soon? No, I do not. Anyone have a school dance coming up anytime soon? No. Yeah. yeah. Wave, nice. does. Yeah, Wave. Maybe. Feel free to use any of those moves. <laughs> Courtesy me. Free of charge. All right. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, the correct answer was yeah. one. Don't be fooled. I will use that move later, too. Let's see who got it right. Oh, guess what? Everybody, 10 points across the board. We got a game on our hands. This next puzzle is worth 20 points. Pay attention. Take a look at these numbers. Which number is the largest? Enter now. Okay, let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, it is number four. Let's see who got it right. Oh, Lily, arms in the air. What now? What now? What now? What now? How about a 30-point puzzle? That's what's now. These kids are about to play a game of dodgeball. Keep track of which kid gets hit the most. Which kid got hit the most? All right, how do we think we did, everybody? Great. Awesome. Yeah! Amazing. Okay, eyeball to the camera if you think you got it right. All right, everyone's in. Everyone's gonna feel good. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, the correct answer is number one. Let's see who got it right, everybody. Wow, we have got a heated battle. Lily is holding it down with 60 points in first place, and everybody else is tied with 40 points. <sighs> this one is worth 40 points. Take a look. Every number from 21 through 30 is pictured here except which number? Pencils down, thumbs up to your camera if you think you got it right. Okay, Susie, would that have been easier if, if it was maybe uh, 101 through 121? Maybe. Maybe, who knows? All right, well, let's see what the correct answer is. 
29 is the yeah. correct answer. Jordan is giving us the dance of joy. Jazz fingers. Oh, break it down. Okay, uh, Susie and Lily and Wave didn't get their answers in in time, but I'm guessing you probably would have got it right, right? Yeah. Of course, of course you did. I'm feeling generous. How's 50 points sound to you guys? Yeah. Amazing. Okay, well, let's do it. This squirrel, dog, and goose are going water skiing. Keep track of which one does the most jumps. Which one did the most jumps? All right, Boo. The dog, squirrel, and goose are known for their water skiing skills. Name one other animal that is a great water skier. I have no idea. Just, let's see what the correct answer is. It was yeah! the goose doing some great water skiing. Uh, let's see who I'm going to reward 50 points to. Everyone but Jacqueline and Susie. Okay, not bad. Jordan, you're still holding the lead with 130 points, followed with 110 points as Lily. Boo and Wave with 90 apiece. Jacqueline and Susie with 40 apiece. We are down to our last puzzle. As fun as this has been, it's got to come to an end. The four of you with the most points after this puzzle will advance to the next level. The other two, you're going down the brain drain. This puzzle is worth 100 points. Here it comes. We are at the state spelling bee. Pay close attention to the spelling of this girl's word. Your word is cymicidae. Spell cymicidae. Cymicidae. C-I-M-I-C-I-D-A-E. Cymicidae. Correct. Which was the correct spelling of her word? Susie, do you know what cymicidide means? Uh, no. Anybody? Anybody know? Jordan nope. knows. I can tell by the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> it actually means bed bugs. It's the bed scientific word for bed bugs. I don't know how I know that. Okay. Let's see what the correct answer is in a little thing I like to call a replay. C-I-M-I-C-I-D-A-E. All right, the correct answer was four. Let's see who got it right. Jacqueline got it right, the only one who's going to get 100 points. Now, it's time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two and which two of you are going down the brain drain. In first place, with 140 points, is Jacqueline. Congratulations. Second place, with 130 points, is Jordan. Lily, you got 110 points, which means you're moving on. And here it is. There's only three players left and one more slot to fill. We have a tie for fourth place, but getting in all their answers the quickest, with 90 points, is Boo. You're moving on. Wave and Susie, you guys played a great game, but before we send you down the brain drain, let's find out what you've won. Congratulations, you've won Nick Arcade gift certificate. Nick Arcade is where you can buy video games based on all your favorite Nickelodeon shows. All that and a bucket of slime. There is only one way out of here, and that is down the brain drain. Susie, Wave, are you guys ready? Come on down. You are not going to want to miss this when we come back. These four brainiacs will put their massive minds to the test on level two. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Surge. I am Jeff, and I'd like to give my personal congratulations to the four of you brainiacs for making it to this level. We talk shop a little. Jacqueline, 
For a girl whose name is Klutz, I hear you're pretty flexible. Care to demonstrate? Yes. Let's see it. Ah! Oh, boy. Thank you. Oh, I think I pulled a muscle on that one. Oh, Jordan. This one is borderline disturbing. You collect toenails. Uh, really? Well, yeah. I used to stack them and put them in my pockets all the time. It was just something I really loved to do. I mean, I was young. Hey, good luck with that. <laughs> Lily. Yes. You speak Hungarian. Yes, I am biliterate. Biliterate. Very yes. nice. Can you say I want to get slimed in Hungarian? In akarok slimo valenni. Woo! Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Boo. That's quite an interesting name. How'd you get that name? Um, when my dad was little, his favorite cartoon was Yogi Bear. And okay. so um, when, uh, when I was a baby, he would uh, tickle me and be like, hey, boo-boo. And so it just kind of stuck. So. That's very good. It's lucky his favorite character wasn't Dr. Poopy McRoople from PJ McDougal's. Have you ever seen that one? No. Me either. I just made it up. All right. It's time to get to the game. How about it? Level two. All right, guys. On this level, I'm going to tell you a story from my book. On your feet, it's story time. Listen and pay close attention to the story I'm about to tell you, because afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions. Remember, everything in this book is true. Okay, here we go. Lots of people have crazy next-door neighbors, but my neighbor, Doc Quackensack, is a mad scientist. I was visiting Doc in his lab the other day, and I stepped into his bathroom. Unfortunately for me, Doc had turned his bathroom toilet into a time machine. Just one flush and a whoosh, and I was hurled back in time. A moment later, I was face to face with a saber-toothed tiger. Luckily, I was saved by a blue-haired caveman who whacked the big cat on the butt with his club. He lifted me onto his purple woolly mammoth and took me on a journey past a slimy swamp and an active volcano to his cave. The place smelled like prehistoric farts. So I looked open a window, but hey, it's a cave, am I right? That night, the caveman presented me with a necklace made of rat's teeth and petrified bat dung. Ugh. When I left the cave the next morning, I found myself nose to nose with a striped triceratops and a green-spotted stegosaurus. I grabbed onto a nearby orange pterodactyl who took me across the countryside and set me down on a plane near my time-traveling toilet. A hungry two-headed Tyrannosaurus was headed my way, so I flopped down on the seat and whoosh, I was back to the present with a flush. That's my story, and it's all true. All right, I'm gonna ask you some questions. You're gonna lock in your answers by sitting down. If you hear this, you're right. If you hear this, boo, would you please demonstrate by sitting down? You're gonna wanna hang on, because it's a quick, fast ride. All right, Jacqueline, here we go. What did I flush in order to travel through time? A toilet. Sit and hold. You got it. Jordan, what prehistoric cat did I encounter? A saber-toothed tiger. Very good. Lily, what did the caveman hit the tiger on the butt with? He with a club. You got it. All right, Boo. What color was the caveman's hair? Uh, blue. Blue. Boo says it was blue, and so it is. Jacqueline, back to you. What animal in the story had purple fur? Purple fur? Purple fur. I need an answer, quickly. Tyrannosaurus? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. It was actually a woolly mammoth. Which dinosaur had two heads, Jordan? The Tyrannosaurus. There you go. I flew on what dinosaur? You flew. You flew on. Take a guess, time is running out. Okay, um, man. The time is up, have a seat. Oh, Lily Seal. Pterodactyl, which oh. surprisingly is spelled with a P at the beginning. Threw me for a loop. Jordan Boo, guess what? What? It's time for a knockout round. Knockout round. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize the board. Your 10 seconds starts now.
10 seconds goes by awfully fast, doesn't it, guys? Okay, Jordan, you're going to go first. Give me your first number. Four. Four. 16. And 16. You got yourself a match. It's up to Boo. Uh, 10. 10. I'm going to give you 10. And one. And one. There you go. Pressure's back on Jordan. Nine. Nine. Eleven. And eleven. There it is. How about it, Boo? What's your number? Six. Six. Fifteen. And fifteen. Oh, okay. No. Nope. What we have here is what I like to call sudden death. The next right answer advances you to the final round. Jordan. What's your first number? Two. Two. Twelve. And twelve. Oh. Oh, okay. Boo. Two. Remember. Two. Two. And fifteen. And fifteen. Boo, you got yourself a match, Jordan. Sit home. Jordan's out of here, which means Boo, you are gonna be playing for thousands of dollars in prizes. <laughs> Plus, a chance at the sliming of a lifetime. Awesome. Let's see what Jacqueline Lillian Jordan won for making it this far. Congratulations. You've won a T67 trike scooter. The new T67 trike carving vehicle is light, compact, and portable. It promotes fitness while you cruise without pushing or pedaling. The trike T67. There's only one way out here, and that is down the brain drain. Jacqueline Lillian and Jordan, let's go. When we come back, we'll see if Boo can find the paths of victory on level three, the final stage. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Surge. I am Jeff, and this is Boo. You may remember her from, oh, becoming a champion and clearing the first two levels. How about it? How do you feel? Pretty good. I'm feeling good. You're feeling good. How about we do this final stage where you could win thousands of dollars in prizes plus slime from head to toe. <laughs> level three, the final stage. Okay, Boo. In this level, there are three parts. Each one is more difficult than the last, okay? It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor <laughs> and then recreate it by stepping on the right squares. For example, I step on this one, it's right. I step on this one. As you might have guessed, that means it's wrong. You're going to have to come back here and start all over. Once you complete the first path, you're going to stop the clock by stepping on that button right up there. Then the floor is going to expand to the 5x5 five five grid, and that path will be revealed. Complete that, and you will be faced with the hardest path of the night, the dreaded 6x6 six six grid. Here's what you could win. Complete the 4x4 four four and win a digital camera. Print and share your photos instantly with a 10 megapixel digital camera and the Polaroid Pogo Instant Mobile Printer. All from Polaroid. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a Diamondback bike. The new Diamondback Sorento and Lester 2. These 21 speed sport recreational mountain bikes handle both trails and pavement from Diamondback. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a San Francisco getaway. Radisson Fisherman's Wharf on San Francisco's waterfront. Dinner for four at Bubba Gump's, a tour of the Wax Museum, and a trip to the Aquarium of the Bay. All right, Boo, this is it. Here's 90 seconds. Put it up on the board. And there it is. Pay attention. Here's your first path. You're going to see it twice. Here it is a second time. The clock will start when you make your first step. Good luck. She's quick. She is definitely a the quick. Go up and stop the button. Stop it. Nice. Stopping the clock at 83 seconds. Guess what? Seven seconds. You just got yourself a camera. It's that easy. Oh, look. A 5x5 five five floor. How did that get here? Magic? I don't know. Here's your path. Take a look. Okay. Clearly more difficult than the last one. 
but you're playing for the bike. So, the juice is worth the squeeze, as they say. 83 seconds will start again when you make your first step. Whenever you're ready, boo. Oh, no! Quick, come back. We'll take a look again. Okay, go ahead. She's got a nice jump. She pounces. It's more of a bounding than a stepping. 60 seconds left. Take a look. Okay, I think she's got it now. I saw her do this move with her hand. That generally is an indicator that she's got it. All right. You're doing well. You're, you're doing well. I think you got it this time. There you go. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, oh. Okay. There's 35 seconds left. You got this. I think we're oh, no. Okay, 25 seconds, Boo! All right, what's it gonna be? Oh, Boo making another Boo Boo! Okay, here we go. Take a look. Gonna have to be quick, there's 10 seconds left. This is the lightning round. Whoa. Four seconds, three, two, one, go! Oh, did she get it? Did she get it? Did she get the bike? We're going to the judges. She was in the air when time expired. She got it with zero seconds left. Way to go, come on over here. Woo! That was crazy, you got yourself a camera. You got yourself a bike and we're gonna give you one of those just free of charge. But you know as well as I do that there's only one way out of here. And that's down the brain drain. Why don't you head over there, and I'll meet you there. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all the time we have for Brain Surge. Tune in next time. We have six new Brainiacs fresh. And they're going to go head to head to head to head to head to head on Brain Surge. Thanks for watching Midfield, New York. There's only one way out of here, and that's down the brain drain. Boom! Come on down. See Sam's email? What email? She's in jail. Oh. iCarly needs a new co-host. We're not canceling iCarly. And there's only one man for the job. Spencer! Oh, really? Curry, take your jacket glasses off. But I look so sophisticated. This is iCarly. You don't do sophisticated. Baby hunky. No! <laughs> don't miss I Won't Cancel the Show. Saturday night at 8. Then catch Nathan Cress on a brand new True Jackson on Nick.